What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we got a jam-packed day. First, we gotta disconnect the truck from the trailer so that we can go get an oil change over here. Uh, over here. <laughs> I can't really see because it's... <laughs> Anyways, let's disconnect the truck from the trailer and I'll tell you guys about what kind of day we got planned. Okay, so it's like 6.05 in the morning. They open at six o'clock and your first initial thought, if it's not your first time stopping by, you might be like, Alex, isn't that an Enterprise rental? Doesn't Enterprise only work with Goodyear and Firestone? You'd be correct. <laughs> um, so last time I had an issue finding a Firestone that could pick up my dually truck. Not my, pick up the dually truck, right, Clifford. And the problem is I called around and then I called Enterprise and they're like, guys, I can't, find any, uh, I can't find a Firestone that'll lift up my dually. Where can I go instead? They said you can go to like Petro's and any other places that charge reasonable prices, but you have to pay out of pocket and then they reimburse you with mileage. So that's what I did. And it just so happened that I'm coming back through right when I need an oil change. So it works out really well because they took really good care of me last time. So I'll gladly come back to them and have Enterprise just reimburse me with miles. While they're doing that though, I want to do a couple things on the trailer. Um, a cap keeps flying off for some reason. So I think something's going wrong on the inside. It's either getting really hot. Um, it's popping off the whole dust cap completely. So I've had to replace it, buy a new one. So I wanna go check that again. And then the last thing that I wanna do is I need to untarp this load because we are 10 minutes away from the delivery. And this load actually didn't even need a tarp. I just tarped it because it's winter or it's, it's fall. So it's snowing and raining everywhere. So I wanted to protect the boat that's underneath. So enough of the talking, let's get on this first dust cap. So as you can see, it's everything's fine. Brakes are good, bearings are good, everything looks good. So I'm thinking maybe the brakes were just a little too tight on that wheel specifically and not tight enough on the other wheels. So I'm gonna grab my grease gun, put a little grease in those bearings and put it all back together and use the, um, use the adjusting tool or whatever to not tighten up my brakes so much. So that's what I'm, I'm doing right now. Gotta grab the grease gun. Okay, I'm not sure if that was an hour wasted. It's almost 7 a.m. now, but let's untarp this load. Uh, the reason I say I'm not sure if it was an hour wasted or not because I didn't really see anything wrong with it, and so I kind of fixed nothing. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it if it gets really hot, which it didn't last time. So keep an eye on it. If it keeps causing problems, then you know, we'll have to look into something else, other options. But right now we gotta untarp this load. Look at that, load is untarped. Okay, as I'm waiting for them to finish up the truck and the oil change, I decided to get some breakfast. Uh, Perkins had a big old meal. 
So I'm full. Let's go pick up my truck. Hopefully it's done. And let's go deliver this boat. All right, boys, we got the truck. Let's connect back to the trailer and let's hit the road. Okie dokie. The next day. Okay, so as you saw, we just unloaded that boat. But here's the thing, what happened yesterday? So yesterday I went to bed early uh, because I was tired, but the situation was I called this place yesterday and I asked them like, hey, how do you guys plan to unload the boat? Because the way they loaded it was they just forklifted it on and that's it. And so that's why when I yesterday, I called the head, I asked them like, guys, what's the situation with this unloading? And what happened was they told me, yeah, we're just gonna drive it right off. Problem was that I had that partial. So instead what I had to do was, I didn't go here yesterday, I delivered yesterday in New Jersey, and then now that took off the partial from the back, if you recall that, uh, the toolbox or something that goes on the back of a truck. And so that toolbox got unloaded, and then this morning I'm back here uh, unloading. So a couple extra miles of deadhead, but that's okay. That happens, that's transportation for you, logistics I guess. Now I just called the trailer dealer. Trailer dealer that is 45 minutes away, is 100% ready. My trailer showed up yesterday as planned. My trailer is now unloaded. So let's go drive over there, pick it up, and then let's take a look at it. All right, boys, we are here. There is my trailer. That is correct. It is a big Tex. Goodness gracious, enough with the suspense, Alex. I get it, I heard you. Now, I'm gonna explain why I went with this company, MGS, why I went with the Big Techs. I'm gonna explain all of that after I switch over the wheels, because I need to switch the 17.5s from that trailer to this one, after I you know, transfer all my stuff. So I need to do that really quickly, because I'm blocking their yard, because this yard isn't very big. So I need to go do that. But let me show you around this trailer right now. There must have been a slight communication error, and I don't know if that's on me or on, on Matt, I'm not sure, but the point remains the same. The trailer came with a 15,900 pound sticker, and that's not good because the truck is rated for 14,000 and the trailer needs to be rated for 12,000. So um, what Matt did, that's the sales guy, what he did is, he is going to overnight from the Big Tex factory a new sticker for 12,000 pounds. And so basically I cannot connect to that trailer at all period whatsoever until it's registered or the, until the sticker says 12,000 because then I would technically need a CDL because that's the way laws work. The next day. That is correct boys. We are back at the dealer picking it up. They had to overnight the 12,000 pound sticker or else I'd need a CDL and I don't have a CDL. So let's connect to this trailer and hit the road and go weigh it and see how much this thing weighs compared to my hefty. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Okay, so let's review the weight really fast, okay? So this hefty trailer right here, connected to the red dually, Clifford the big red truck, weighed 15,900 pounds. I'm looking at my phone, you have it on your screen. Now moving on, that big text connected to my truck and you have it on your screen, you can see 16,340 pounds. So that means that big text is 440 pounds heavier than this hefty. 
and that's probably all torque tube. Let's talk about <laughs> why big decks. What? After my wonderful experience with the Hefty, why big decks? And the main thing is, uh, at the end of the day, the big text is, what's the word I'm looking for? Predictable, okay? And, and that's probably the main thing, that at the end of the day, this trailer, I know it's built in a certain way that it's engineered to, like, to be somewhat reasonable. And because of that, I knew I could call them up and get a trailer. But keep in mind, guys, the dealer I went with, which is the MGS, I think is what it's called. MGS, right? Correct, MGS Trailer Store. So the reason I went with them is because my initial phone call with them was, went, went something like this. Hold on, before I tell you how my phone call went with them, let me tell you how it went with other trailer dealers. Hey, how's it going? Am I, I wanna order a new trailer. I was wondering if you'd give me a price. I need a 14GN 40 footer. Uh, Big Text doesn't make a 14 GN 40 footer. And when you do that a dozen times, I called probably a dozen dealers and asked them, hey, I want to order a 40 footer. I know for the, I've, I've talked to the factory, they can make a 14 GN 40 footer. Can I order one? How much? The trailer dealer goes like, nope, they don't make it. They won't do it. And time and time and time and time and time again, you get fed up. And so when I call MGS, and I speak to sales and Matt picks up the phone and I go like, hey man, I want to get a 14 GN 40 footer. Matt goes like, okay, good, we can do that. But it's going to be a custom order one, so it's going to take 10 weeks to build. I'm like, oh, that's fine. At least Matt knows that Big Tex makes a 40 footer. So guys, here's the thing. I'm not saying you got to go to Matt. I'm not saying you got to go to MGS. No, you don't. However, if you are interested in a relatively cheap, relatively affordable maybe I should say, 40 footer, Big Tex might be the like reasonable priced example that you can get. What we gotta do right now is we gotta put our straps into the toolbox and we gotta peel off all of those yellow letters cause that's just obnoxious. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for the vlog. I can't believe I really, I actually thought I would be able to get all this stuff done in one day. We started this on Monday, it's now Wednesday. It's taken a couple of days, um, mainly because the overnight from Texas for the 12,000 pound sticker, I don't have a CDL, so truck is 14,000 pounds. That means my trailer has to be 12,000 and that's 26,000 total, which is less than the 26,001 pound. And then I got my annual inspection, so maybe that'll help out just in case I get pulled over by chance. And then of course I weighed my trailer, so now I know how much I can scale, which is basically just about 9,500 pounds. The final thing you might be wondering is how much I paid. This trailer was like $10,040 or something like that, or $10,100, just basically just slightly over $10,000, the big text, that's what it was. And so granted, could I have gotten a better trailer for this price? Probably not. Could I have spent a little more and gotten a better trailer? <laughs> Definitely. Now, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe because my next video is gonna be five things I hate and five things I like about this big text. All right guys, that's gonna do it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.